Night time. Seems to be walking okay now. Yeah. Baka natuhod lang, ano? Might have felt the, might have felt the sting of a, of a wayward uh, knee. So very short-lived in partnership ng uh, Fast and the Furious. If you watch it here. There it is. That's a very huge knee coming from Sam Eman. Yeah. That was a nice pick. And that pick got LA Tenorio wide open. I think that was really right incidental more than anything else. Yeah. I mean, his thigh and Eman's knee were at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, that could have been a case of an illegal pick, by the way. I think it's si Eman. Here's Kagiwa. That will be last touch on Rudy Hatfield. For now, in 30-28, Lamang Parin Ang Hinebra, they led by as many as six points back in the opening quarter. Neither Kagiwa sits down. It's so, so clear, uh, Nico, that neither team has seized control of this game. They're both playing uh, sort of like a drag-out game, very defensive-oriented, very low scoring. But, but when you think about how these two teams win games, it actually sounds very logical. Yeah. You know, Hinebra, they, they, they're keeping the scores of their opponents down. They've been winning with defense. And, but Alaska has been like that the same thing. since Tim Cole took over. <laughs> Here's Borboran. Borboran with a shot clock winding down. No basketball count. That's where it was a 24 second violation against the Aces. Here's Miller. Approaching the last three minutes of the second quarter. And Hatfield, no goal. Hatfield somehow got his own miss. This could go against L.A. Tenorio. Uh, Mike Cortez goes out. Yeah. JJ, how's the brand team today? Okay. Uh, pa Patricia, ano ang balita kay JJ? Yeah. Well, natuhuran siya kanina nitong si Eman Samiga. So he thinks, and so he went down. He didn't even want to get massaged. Didn't want to ice it even. Now, he missed two days of practice because he was playing through an old injury which actually injured the back of his knee. But again, he's playing through something, Nico. Uh, that's what warriors are made of. They always play through something. It has to take a lot uh, to uh, bring down uh, grizzled veterans. Meantime, there's a foul. Laban kay Joe DeVance. At yan ang apat laban sa Alaska here in the second quarter. Ginebra still on top by two points, 30-28. Ginebra's field goal percentage has been dropping. It was a good seal job there by... Rico Villanueva, a nice square move inside the painted area. That should have been an easy two points for him. Rudy Hatfield steps up, or steps out rather, in favor of Willie Wilson. Eight points in the ball game, para kay uh, Rico Villanueva. Back to four point in Ebra advantage. 2 and 20 remaining in the first half. Oh, yes. <laughs> a quick move by L.A. Tenorio. Off the pass coming from uh, Sonny Toss. You see the way they executed their uh, triangle offense. You're not just looking for the guy outside. You're also looking for the guy inside or anyone who's able to get himself free because of the open space. Willie Miller, four points in the ball game. Here's Sonny Toss. Namang ang Ginebra, 34-30. Tenorio, fake, drive, sidestep, outside, bonbon. Custodio on the move, falling away, no goal, comes up short. Fences rebound, De La Cruz, ball tapped out by Willie Wilson. You know, with Wilson in the hat field, lagi may, uh, eh, lagi may energy player on the floor para sa Ginebra. And that's key. I mean, they need to be able to sustain that hustle, the intensity that Coach Joseph Ejigo wants from the five on the floor. 
Here's Tenorio. Reverse oh, nice. is good. He's finding that space inside. He's driving against the man who's defending him and then finding that space. And a turnover here, Laban sa Ginebra. You know, in keeping with our boxing team, we want to give uh, Willie Wilson his moniker, The Scrapper. The Scrapper. Yes. yes. The Scrapper. Not to be confused with The Scraper. <laughs> the Scrapper. But, uh, a boxer is a scrapper. Oh, yeah. And there we go with the scrapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's De La Cruz. No go. And Villanueva with a rebound. Among the Dalawang Ginebra, 34-32. So, just on Ora, see this in the second quarter. J.J. Elderbrand to Jimbo Aquino. No. It's going to grab again, but he missed that time. Last minute of the first half brought to you by Dennis to win it. 13 to shoot para sa Alaska. And Tenorio misses. Top of the key. Here comes Elderbrand to Miller. Miller fires the three. Short, way short. Jimbo Aquino retains the basketball para sa Ginebra. 20 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 9 seconds to shoot para sa Ginebra. The man game coming up. Elder Brad still has the ball inside Villanueva. A soft shot. And a steal. And a counter steal. And 4 seconds to go. 3 seconds to go. And Miller gives up the foul. Ginebra not yet in the penalty. Good foul to give. Two seconds to go. There is an opportunity for Alaska to inbound. I think they're going to call a timeout. Just for this last play. A timeout for Alaska. Two seconds remaining in the first half. We're back inside the big dome, uh, Alaska. We'll have last possession here. Meantime, here's our explode. Energy drink, Animal Salakas play of the quarter featuring L.A. Tenorio. Not often that we have Animal Salakas plays involving point guards, but that was a crafty move by L.A. Tenorio. Sort of like a post move inside <laughs> against Jimbo Aquino, who was much taller than L.A. Tenorio. What I want to do is I want Sai to be isolated right there. Uh, okay. L.A., nice. be patient. why really, his, his talents are being maximized here. Because he really does not have a legitimate backup point guard. You always have to go head to it with guys like J.J. Elter, Brand, and Jimmy Alapag. Well, especially if you're playing against a team that's loaded with guards. And uh, Coach Joseph Vichico has an array of guards to throw. At L.A. Tenorio. Here's Rudy Hatfield for defensive purposes. They want to make sure that Alaska does not score here with two seconds to go. Here's Baggio. One second to go. Not enough time. So he never holds on to a two-point lead. Now low scoring first half. 34-32. And I don't think you're surprised. With the, with the halftime count? No, not at all. Uh, considering that he mentioned that both these teams have been winning because of defense. Uh, now let's go to Patricia. JJ Halterbrands with me here. Your coaching staff actually said that you were going into this game not 100% anyway. Plus, you got that knee contusion earlier, or that contusion on your leg earlier. How's it feeling now? Uh, it's just still kind of sore, but it's okay. Uh, as long as I don't get cold, stay warm, I should be all right. All right, well, what are the things that could get you guys hot in the second half? Well, um, I think we just got to execute. Uh, mostly, we're doing everything pretty much right. The only thing is we got to knock down our shots. We get a lot of open shots, but we're, at, we're not really converting. But if we convert, I think we'll be okay. All right, appreciate it. JJ Helteran here at the half. We'll be back for more right here on the PBA Solid TV. our big time Sunday showdown here at the Big Dome. Scores of 34-32 in favor of Hinebra who are gunning for the straight victory. Patricia Bogles, he's on right here at courtside for Solar TV. We are all still hung on Manny Pacquiao's 12 round victory. So we now present to you our top plays of the week and all 10 rounds of it. 
key top 10 plays right here right now the president gave norwood right there with a floater going up against some defenders and you know who's the man what about this shot oh yeah and the n1 number 10 right there sneaking in at number nine dennis the menace Expino, with a up and under and the basket crafty move by the veteran right there what a dance by the yes. coming in at number eight what do we got showtime la finding skyrus baga for the easy lay-in right there there you go and he'll get a plus one situation you're so right dr j alaska's decision here is to run 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 and at number seven it's rico mambo meyer hopper with a steal and a jam right here swiping and jamming at number seven nice two-handed jam by meyer hopper with a flourish hanging around just a bit saying who's the man oh yeah second time around for skyris baggio sliding and gliding at number six right here for the easy layup you remember Clyde the glide Drexler, oh. that's the way he glides, you know. He was swapping Where, suave, Whether huh? towards the basket or away from and then reaching it out using the glass. Halfway through our countdown, what do we got at number five? Oh yeah, Mr. Pure Energy powering his way with an up and under right there. Let's take another look at this virtuoso act. Very difficult move. What a way to adjust by Mr. Pure Energy, Gary David. And at number four right now, guess who is the kite again? Rising to the occasion with this slam. Broken play right there. Takes advantage. And the jam. Back to back slams by Rico Meyerhofer, the young man rising to the occasion for BMX. Top three. Hang on to your seats. It's the Tropping Tex, Tropping Tex. You're starring the Mighty Mouse and Machine Gun Kelly with the alley oop jam. Perfect pass by Jimmy, the Mighty Mouse. And he comes off the back screen. Alapog puts it perfectly on the money. Ken Bono's actually there. He just really can't do anything about it because it's so high in the air. Look at the pass. Bam. Number two. Oh yeah, getting close to number one right now. Mr. Clutch. Alex Kabagnot. Three seconds to go. Kabagnot for the win. Yes! Game winner in the dying seconds. Almost impossible shot. Just when the time expires. And hanging in the air just a bit. And almost a steer. L.A. Gambos. And what a difficult shot here by Alex Kabagnot. I mean, he's had a great game. And at number one, guess who once again? Mr. Clutch returns. Living up to his name. Alex Kabagnot has done it again! Changing hugs and high fives to all the fans. Another big shot for Alex Kabagnot. With its miracle scoop shot. For the game winning basket. Oh, yeah, look at that. Alex Kabagnot taking on all comers. Deja vu all over again for the San Miguel Beerman. 85 to 83 is the final score, and San Miguel will end October at 5 and 1. That's it for BB Top 10 Plays. See you next time. I'm sure we got you guys going with our best top 10 plays. And don't worry, when we come back for more of the action, we will show you more highlight reel worthy exchanges right here with your PBA on Solo TV. And PBA Big Time Sunday continues deep as the Solar TV. We find Evie with El Decano. It's been a defensive game so far, Miguel. What happened to your throat, <laughs> my friend? But uh, I'm and so very speechless. low scoring, very I'm low. So, scoring. I'm so speechless from <laughs> Manny Pacquiao's victory. Still breathless over that uh, performance, but I'm okay now. I'm okay now. And in Embra, looking good so far. Up by just two, but it's a low scoring game against the Alaska uh, Aces. And uh, we're about to check the highlights from the first uh, two quarters of this close ball game. Well, Enamor actually started off uh, with a six to nothing uh, blitz here, uh, uh, anchoring uh, on uh, JJ or anchored rather on JJ Elterbrands. 
three-point shooting. Joe Devans, as 